Um, so yeah, hi, I'm Olaf Deagle. I'm professor of additive manufacturing here at the University of Auckland. And I head up the additive manufacturing lab within the Center for Advanced Materials Manufacturing and Design. Um, so within the additive manufacturing lab, basically I describe it as a giant toy room that, in which we make stuff. So anything you can imagine, we can make here, whether it's metal, whether it's food, whether it's ceramics or plastics, we try to make it as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Um, some of the interesting innovations in 3D printing, particularly over the last year or two, um, are some of the ones along materials. So for example, we can now print in wood. So using sawdust and bio-epoxy, so epoxy made from lignin, which is another waste wood products, we can print entire products that are reconstituted wood. And it's material that otherwise would go to landfill or be incinerated. So you're taking waste material and you're turning it into something that's got a huge amount of value that people are willing to pay big money for. The project to make, uh, I guess, uh, Maori instrument preservation, so effectively uh, preservation of artifacts, um, started with the uh, University of Auckland's Kairatiki, so Michael Steedman, who had a conch shell trumpet that was a family heirloom passed down from generations. And, you know, beautiful conch shell trumpet. The problem is you couldn't have kids playing with it because if they drop it, it's gone forever. Um, so that's how the whole project started up, where we took his conch shell up to the Auckland Hospital. They did a CT scan of it, which gave us 3D data. And if you can imagine a conch shell trumpet, the spiral on the inside would be almost impossible to get any other way. But once we had that 3D model, we could print him effectively reproductions of his own uh, conch shell trumpet and fully playable instruments that he could now have kids playing with. So we've printed a bunch of those for them, um, including full color prints and nylon strong prints that you can pretty much throw against the wall without worrying about them breaking. But those are the ones you can give to kids without worrying about them damaging something precious. So this is the machine. This is your powder. So it's nylon powder in this case. So we spread a layer of powder. The laser comes from the top and draws on it. Wherever the laser hits, it, it solidifies. And that platform drops down. So at the end, this bucket is full of powder with your parts inside. And we dig it out of the powder, blow off the surface powder, and it's ready to go. With this technology, there's always a lot of ethical questions about it, and it gets more so when it comes to cultural artifact. So a really good example of this is the trumpet that we're working on now, which is a one meter long trumpet. When we print it, do we print it out of something that looks identical in terms of the wood texture of it? In this case, we decided not to. So we spoke to the iwi um, and we decided to print it out of white plastic. So it's not trying to replace the cultural artifact. It's just trying to be something that can be used by the general public because you don't want to remove the value from the original artifact.